some weights. How much? 360 kilograms just to emulate a Campbell conversion. Hmm. Right, this is a video I've wanted to do for a long time now. We've just been waiting for the suspension to come in completely. I want to do a video to show you how to get the best suspension for your vehicle, regardless to how you want it to sit, whether you want air suspension, just lowering springs, various different drops of coil We believe that as solar suspension, we've created the best there possibly is. Confidently believe that as well. And I'll run you through why throughout this video. So going back many years when the solar coilover was invented, it was designed purely for low, but it was so highly rated and so loved and people thought it was so comfortable low. We decided it was time we developed higher versions of those. We've created everything from a lowering spring we've done with IBAC. We believe that's the perfect drop lowering spring to get you the most comfort. We've got the new Solo NXT coilover, which is your sort of standard drop coilover around your kind of 60. You know, we'll go through the full dimensions on that soon. The new NSL, which has been spoken about a lot. Loads of people are excited about that. And then over there, you've got your traditional Solo low. That's going to be changing a bit slightly. After we've gone through that, we're going to fit the new Solo LFT. So LFT standing for lift. I don't actually have the dampers here. I just have the springs. But this is the first that I'm aware of anyway fully adjustable lift coilover. So again, following on from the theme of what we've learned through making lowering coilovers, extending all that information and making a lift coilover. Most lift suspensions on the market are normally just adjustable springs. Um, but what we've done here is we've developed a longer damper with the maximum amount of lift that you want to do with your vehicle, but the adjustability if you don't want to have the full lift. So these springs here, we'll show you the setup with them on the damper shortly on the vehicle. All adjustable lift coilover to allow you to get the vehicle to sit balanced, whether it's a camper or a combi or a panel van or whatever it is, you know, four motions, DSGs or heaviest. The purposes of this video is to show you how a van looks on all these different, give you a rough idea of uh, wheel and tire sizes that we would recommend to go with these but explain in more detail why we think this is the best. That's a very quick overview. What we're gonna do now is Mitch is gonna start fitting these on a brand new T6.1. We're gonna show you how the vehicle sits on the various different ones and explain a little bit more about the development that went into each one of these. We'll start off with the lowering springs, then we'll work our way up NXT, NSL, Solos, and then after that we'll lift it. Right, so Mitch has got this T6.1 on the ramp, and first of all, we're gonna fit the IBAC Pro lowering springs. I'm just gonna take you in a bit closer, give you a bit of a look at them, and just explain where the concept came from and the idea behind them and the drop. So that's the original spring on there. So this is a T6.1, and these springs we've had designed so they work for T5 right through to T6.1. Now, the reason why T6.1 is different is a genuine T6.1 spring comes with a slightly different rubber sleeve on the bottom there to hold the spring in place. So with all of our spring, or well, with a spring only setup, regardless of what vehicle you've got, the spring will come with it on. You just remove that plastic case in there, that lower sleeve. If you've got a T5 through to T6, you only need to keep it on for a T6.1, but it comes as standard anyway. So you'll see it's fitted there on the damper. That's the new lowering spring, and that's the original one on the OEM damper. So a bit about this spring. So this is the IBAC Solo Pro Sport spring. So this has been built for us by IBAC. Where the concept of this came from is the original Sportline spring, which is, so if VW lower a, a transporter on a Sportline spring, it's an IBAC 30 mil spring. So we took the information from that because we knew that was the closest to OEM and we've made it slightly lower. So this is a 45 mil spring. Anything lower than 45 mil, and we've done lots of testing, being that Solo as a brand, we wanted to try and get everything as low as possible. Anything lower than 45 mil and the ride starts to become crashy. The 50, 60 mil lowering springs out there, they just don't give as good ride. So we believe that 45 mil is the absolute optimum and the spring rate and everything is taken from a genuine Sportline spring. So it's the closest you'll get to that. So it's effectively like a T6 genuine Sportline spring, but that little bit lower, just to give you a better look than the standard 30 mil spring, while still ret retaining the comfort and the um, spring not being too low. So these can work perfectly on a standard van or a panel van or a combi and even a camper. The only thing you may want to do, that's a 13 mil spacer. So one mil inboard gives you about 1.5 outboard. So that'll lift the back of your vehicle about 20 mil. So if you fit in a set of lowering springs, we see no end of vehicles with just lowering springs that are full campers and the back sits super low at the back. So this will just help that. There's adjustable options as well, but this is just a simple, quick, cheap way. If you're going for a lowering spring like this and you want to lift that back end up so it's a bit more balanced, that 13 mil spacer there, it goes at the top, 
will allow you to get about an extra 20 mil lift at the rear there. So that's pretty much everything you're gonna need just to lower your springs. Mitch is gonna get these on the vehicle now and we'll show you how it sits with these springs on. The other thing that's really important when you come to changing any suspension on a vehicle is upgrading your rear spring rubbers. It's really common that the standard spring rubbers, even on a brand new T6.1, will start to wear and the spring pops through. So we've developed a heavy duty polyurethane rear spring rubber. It sits perfectly whether you're using a lowering spring, standard spring, lift spring. It's got a larger bottom to allow for the thicker diameter of the rear spring. They come with a two year warranty, but they're polyurethane, they're gonna last you know, forever dare I say forever, you know, it's a hell of a long time. They're so much better than the original VW ones and they're, they're not particularly expensive either, but a, a very important addition when you come to changing your suspension because they, the original ones get damaged so often, these things will just last and last and last and you don't have to worry about keep replacing them. So I'll leave you to with Mitch now, he'll get these on and we'll pull it outside and show you how it sits with the IBAC Solo 45mm Pro Sport Springs. So next up, we have the new Solo NXT. So I'll take you in closer to show you that. School belt. Right, Elliot? All right, so we'll just take you in closer. So this is the new Solo NXT. So this is your sort of standard drop coilover, as we would call it. So it's very similar in drop to a lot of the other coilovers on the market. This is, if you want to be lower than a spring and you want to really retain comfort and you want the ultimate in comfort setup while getting kind of around the 60 mil drop, this is the kit for you. So this kind of came from us working the bill stand on the B16 damper, which is a fully adjustable damper, adjustable damper and adjustable height. So after having them on the, our old, one of our old vehicles for a while, we kind of found the sweet spot and it just stayed on that. We never adjusted the damper then. And then it got us thinking, well, what's the point in creating a damper that's adjustable if we found the perfect point? And that's where these settings came from. So we took that damper back out, took it back to Bilstein, got it on the damper dyno, worked out exactly how it rode and that's where this came from. So this is the Solo NXT. So the whole new Solo coilover range now will come like this with this kind of adjuster. So instead of having your awkward C-span as you would have here to try and adjust them, there's, there's a grub screw in one of these which is locking that ring in place. You undo that grub screw, you loosen that off and you can adjust it with this tool here. It will make it so much easier to make adjustments. Anybody that tries to use the C-spanners will know how hard they are to get them to lock in, hold one and then adjust another one. This now is just a, such a simpler and easier and neater way. But you'll see this collar on this one, the NSL, and also on the next delivery of Solo Lows will have this type of adjustment collar so it's so much easier to do you'll notice they all come with this band here this is just actually a wristband so you can take that off and have it as a wristband instead it just finishes off the complete look so this also being a t6.1 needs a t6.1 drop link again we have these these are solo t6.1 drop links but if you're lowering a vehicle more than 60 mil a t6.1 lower than more than 60 mil you will need a longer drop link that's not required for T5 to T6, and that's purely just because we have a different anti-roll bar on T6.1 because of the electronic power steering. So that's your front setup of the new Solo NXT, which we believe is your, the most comfortable, regular, what I would call standard drop coilover on the market, developed using the knowledge we had for the Solo low suspension, making it longer and combining that with everything we do with Bilstein on the fully adjustable Bilstein B16 finding the sweet spot and the right setting to make this the absolute perfect and most comfortable coilover there is. So I'll leave you to, with Mitch now, he'll get these on, then we'll pull it outside and show you how it sits with the new Solo NXT.
This is the one that most people have been excited about. This is the new Solo NSL kit. There's always been a real gap in the market for a damper that sits between your Solo and your standard length coilover, so like the Solo NXT kit. There are other things out there, but where they use a shorter spring, they still use the original length damper, which kind of works, but it's just not ideal. If you're shortening your spring, you always want to shorten your damper. Stands for not so low or nearly so low, whatever term you want to use, but idea being this sits between the so low low and the NXT. So it has the same, in fact, let me take you in closer and show you. So it has the same comfort and ride quality that we get from the low kit and from the high kit. We've just calculated the balance in between the two. So this damper is sh shorter than the NXT damper, but it's longer than the solo low damper and the spring again, the same. Solo built springs. We've had the same um, development used that we've done on the other kits to make this spring. This was taking a little bit longer because the first revision of the spring we weren't happy with. So we went back and did it again until we were 100% happy with it. So I previously mentioned this spring here is yellow and that's just so at first glance we can tell the difference. The Solo Low kit is a red spring. The Solo NXT kit is a red spring, but the NSL is a yellow spring just to make it nice and simple at first glance. If somebody rings us up, we can tell that this is the Solo NSL kit. So. Everything else is the same, the adjuster body and everything is the same. As with the others, it's available for T30 and T32, but this will give you your next level of drop without going really low. So this, there's such a gap for this. So many people fit standard coilovers on the lowest setting and then they're not comfortable with how low they go. Well, this gives you the ability to have that bit in between. So whereas the NXT is like a 65 mil drop at the lowest setting, this picks up from there and this will carry on down to the next level before you get down to the solo low. Mitch is going to put a set of wheels on this now and take it outside so we can give you some more facts and information so you can refer back to it and give you a suggested idea of wheel and tyre size that we put on it. And finally for low, the good old fashioned solo low. This has been going now for four, three, four years, I think. Crazy popular, super comfortable. People don't believe that a vehicle this low should be so comfortable. This one here is the original solo setup. This is going to change very shortly. Any future deliveries we have after the last few sets that are left, we'll have the new style adjuster with the, with the wristband around here. But the way it um, rides and handles and the open and close length and everything is exactly the same. It will just look slightly different and be easier to adjust with a new style adjuster. But there, that's the Solo Low. As I said previously, red spring, the short and solo damper. Uh, we've said this a hundred times, but people cannot believe how well this thing rides for a, a low setup. So this will go 95 to 125 millimeters out the box. Anyway, let's get this outside and we'll show you how this sits with some tires on. <laughs> As well as the solo coilover options, we also do solo air suspension. I won't go into full details on this because we've done it previously. We'll put a link here to a video we did purely about this solo air suspension. But as with the coilovers, the goal was always to make the most comfortable, the most reliable, the best air suspension kit on the market, which we believe the solo air setup is. So the basis of the solo air suspension was very much off the original solo low coilover. So giving you that same incredible ride quality that you got from the solo coilover, but with the air instead of a spring. This kit obviously uses a shorter rear damper to get that extra low. So the front of this actually is the same as the original Solo Low coilover kit. The rear is similar, but shorter, so you can get that much lower on the back there. It's worth watching the full video, full video just to get a full understanding of it. There is something new coming in the world of Solo Air, which we'll share with you in the future. It's not quite ready, but something that's interesting to people that don't particularly want to go so low as the this air suspension setup, but want the ride quality and potentially a little bit more height but more details of that in the next coming months
So last but not least, the Solo LFT. So it kind of seems a bit odd for Solo to make a lift kit, but it actually makes perfect sense. So the reason behind it was we knew we could make a low coilover well, we knew we could make a standard and a medium height coilover well, so why not make a lift coilover? So most lift suspension you find on the market tends to just be an extended strut and the rear adjuster. Well, this kit allows you to completely adjust front and rear. So if I just take you in a little bit closer, so you've got this set that has it, this has it on here. So you've got the Solo LFT damper. We've got the new style adjuster there. If you can just see, there you can see the Solo wristband there. Then you've got the extended spring. So you've got a longer damper, longer spring, that's fully adjustable front and rear with this new style, nicer, easier adjuster to use. Mitch will pull this outside now. We'll get some photos and give you some stats and show you how this sits. So when we first fitted the prototype of these, or maybe the second or third revision, I remember driving this thing and it was just quite, I was just surprised how comfortable it is. Historically, whenever I've been in lifted vehicles, I find the ride really firm because they have to make that spring harder to get the lift. Well, that was where we didn't want it to be. We wanted the comfort of a lowered coilover, but with the lift to get you the look you wanted. So yeah, I mean, I think that looks really nice. If you're going for lift, having that full adjustability front and rear is where I think it's always been missing. There's no reason why you shouldn't be able to lift and have full adjustability the same as you do when you're lowering. So you've not got to just rely on the weight in the back and balancing the front out. So there you go. Hopefully this video has been useful. We wanted to try and explain to you as clearly as possible all your different options. We truly believe the Solo range now covers everybody. Whether your budget is just for springs, whether you want air suspension, whether you want to go really low, somewhere in between the two, or even lift. Solo suspension now has everything you can possibly get, and we believe it's the most comfortable option that's possibly available on the market because we've worked really hard to make sure that's the case. So over the coming weeks, we'll start to release details of the approved Solo install network. And the reason being is people want to come here for fitting a lot and we just don't have the time to do it here. We don't just can't, our diary was getting silly. So what we want to do is we want to get a load of dealers here that we already work with, get those guys approved, have them watch us install suspension and make sure, they're probably doing it right anyway, but make sure they're doing it our way. So we can confidently say, you want any of this solo suspension range or any of the suspension we can do, these guys can improve installers and you're going to get the same quality of install from them as you would do from us. So keep watching. We'll have details of that soon. It'll be on the solo website as well with all the different dealers throughout the country. And also it was crazy that people would travel two, three, four hours to come here to have suspension fitted when we can want to get people that can do the same job on your doorstep so you don't have to do that long drive just to get the quality of service with the same quality of product. Hopefully you found this video useful. The information we've given you on wheels and tyres isn't just for solo range, obviously it applies no matter which coilover or suspension you decide to buy. We just thought we'd add that in there just to help you and give you a guide or even if you've got a certain type of suspension on your van now and you're unsure about wheel and tyre options. So hopefully that's helped. If you've enjoyed the video, please do press that like button. It means a lot to us. It helps other people see the video as YouTube shares it with more people, the more people that like it. Comment below your thoughts, anything you want to know. I always try and answer as many questions as I possibly can. Subscribe to the channel for more videos, plenty more content coming as always. There's a really, there's a good series coming on this particular van. So the next time you see this van, probably it will be on air suspension with sexy navy split wheels and hopefully some pretty impressive brakes, which I'll go into more detail with you soon. So hopefully you've enjoyed this and as always, thanks for watching.